do you not believe in a place of expiation, in purgatory, in hell? It just doesn't seem that a God who is all love would create such a place. Martos must also know he is a God of justice, the other side of love. Still, I wonder if there is. That is what evil wishes people to believe, that neither exists. But why? A transgression. What transgressions? What kind? Some say errors against, but let's call it what it is. Then, that's funny. A word. That's funny. Sin in Spanish means without. That's so funny. Without go. There we go again. That G word. That's what evil wants. The absence of any discussion so they can continue to sin against his love. But people don't know. I don't know. Wrong is written on the heart. There are too many of stone now. We should be sheltered from the pulpits, the synagogues, the temples. How can we know such rules? There are too many. Wrong is mirrored in some of the law of martyrs. Mostly all know. I've heard of ten, but that is even too hard. In the beginning, there were not even that many. It is woe to your brothers and sisters. They think it is the ten suggestions. Too many will find out too late. They are not. How can we remember what we have done? I can't even remember the big A. You remember by praying to remember. There is a consequence for even those transgressions not remembered, but done willingly. It doesn't seem fair. Tell me fair as it relates to his almighty. In Leviticus, in Deuteronomy, in the Pentateuch. Aha, uh -huh. we are under the new covenant. Oh, does not abrogate it? But show me fair as it relates to his almighty in the new book. Well, offhand, I was... Even his book, Martels no longer read as well as you should. For your big A is but a support of lust between married, lust, lewdness, marriage, and with it, theft. These said most to Most? Him. I thought God sent no one there. He doesn't. The shell casts itself into the sea of fire. Every entity there wanted to be by its actions and inactions. Too much. Maybe there is forgiveness. Forgiveness is hard for you, mortals. Have you forgiven your mother? And those who do not forgive can receive no forgiveness. That is a different matter. That is personal. What can be personal to he that sees all, whether in darkness or light? Oh, man. Everything is personal. Ego is everywhere. Know this, however. God has placed parents over you. Love of God and love of neighbor includes all, even parents. Children must forgive their parents, and parents must forgive their children. You make it sound so simple. You mean if I get these two, I don't have to worry? You need not worry. Anyway, fear and worry are imps, not created by him, but by the other. Are they sure bother me? Only because you're alive. Where is this place of expiation? Some friends feel hell or purgatory is right here. Far from it. God made fear, though it has been corrupted. But every thought, every deed, action or inaction, co-creates or destroys. There are consequences set as immutable and unchangeable law. Gotcha. Then what is all this about forgiveness? Oh, you're narrow-minded. What he has curated, he can change. But in the natural course, it is immutable. Forgiveness functions to effect his mercy. Then it is not immutable? It is immutable outside his power. What do you think the sacramentals are for? The sacramentals, the church, all are keys to immutability, according to his Keys to what? The escape, or to the kingdom, if you will. The law of forgiveness, absolution, prevents a falling into the pit or a further falling. It does not mitigate the accounting of So unless. even if I confess or forgive, there is a consequence? There could be. Usually there it's, is. It is too hard. It is too easy. That is the purpose of intention, perfection, learning how to become perfect as he is perfect, to avoid the consequences and merit the reward. All I see is misery and pain. What reward? What you see is nothing comparatively. 
Nor the joys in the kingdom cannot even be described. I live in America. What know I of kings and kingdoms? Know the other side. Neither side is democracy. This is but an illusion. What is it? It is a willed place where yours voluntarily is connected to the will of God. Conversely, it is a place where your will means less than nothing, depending on your choices now. You mean you can leave heaven? If anyone is foolish enough, yes. Didn't they? They were cast out. They left volitionally consequences, remember? Why should we go there? What is this heaven like? Which part? Heaven. Heaven. A cop out. Words cannot describe the beauty of a vision incomprehensible. Now, just what does that mean? Women are already co-creators. What joy do you have in motherhood? Magnify that joy a billion fold. In all this, I got a robe stuff. That was for the naked who are blessed, albeit elementary. I should give up the Porsche, huh? What need of metal when thought alone can carry you to wherever? Forward or backwards in what you know as time. And being in his light is existence. And the other? Perpetual pain, coldness, heaven, darkness, with the knowledge of eternal damnation, and the alternative existence could be had. A stupid question. What is the light? It is a stupid question, but one you can have a right to have answered. He is the light. Run to him. Glory. Filled with the grace, purity, perfection, the more perfect the more a spiritual body glows with grace, a Shekinah light. And what is this grace for? Everything God is the God of grace, or power as you call it, in your limited knowledge. This power manifests itself in creation throughout the earth, brilliance, luminance of his son through the Holy Spirit. Hey, I can understand some of this. This heart, though not contained, sometimes shows itself as a cloud, a burning bush. Hence, then things that translate on lower vibrational planes in the thick atmosphere of elementary creation might be perceived as brilliant light, glory. Can we approach such? Have you not heard he said he was the light of the world. Is he not approachable? I'm afraid. I do not know him. The lost sheep, he knows you. I am too He makes that determination, you or not. Inherently, you have the propensity, the power to increase. How? I am caught up in the mud of this existence. Recognizing that is one of the first lights. By good works, by prayer, by faith in yourself as well as him, it is like plugging your lamp into a wall socket and turning the switch. I don't think I can do it. As a vessel of the Holy Spirit, you can. Your doing good still allows you to be filled. Faith and seeking perfection allows you to be burnished. Polished, that is. Burnishing and polishing, I hear, takes a lot of work. Aren't you worth it? Surely I am. So treat each day as your last. One second at a time, one minute at a time, one day at a time. My spirit is willing. My body wants pleasure, comfort here, no matter how I try. Now you see the purpose of perfection. Focus on him. Your heart will follow. As goes your heart, your spirit, which drives your soul. And it must do likewise. But if the body of dust is anchored to the earth, is it not said the earth is not his? He created it as you co-created your children from it. What he creates, his spirit, abide. And the mechanism for control is there. So my body is still his temple. Until you determine otherwise. Your teaching is hard. Your way comes. There is but one way home. And the alternative. Loss of him, death awaits you.
That video that you want. I'm so tired. I don't know. So covered with problems, pains, and fear, and anxiety. Does he thrill in Rest the darkness? Only in him. Only. I see peace. Then give him your problems and he will carry them. I don't them. know what that means. Exactly as he said it. I know the Bible stories, but they seem just stories in light of all that goes on. It is on. not in light on earth. More light and dark. Why? Why are you telling me this? Not just you. He wills that not one who hears and does will be lost. So if we listen, you provide a way. He has always provided the way, as mortals say, out of no way. Ask, and you shall be given. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened. These are real laws and promises, not just Bible stories. So to get out of the mess, I find myself requires only asking, seeking, give me a prayer. Be a little baby. That doing is all required. Easily. So let me pose a question. Yes. What could you do if it were not? I guess I would be lost. You would. But in his mercy, he requires only 12 things out a pencil. I thought it was just two. Two for the power, 12 for the implementation is part of the two, right? Yes, at least this is something I can do. It is something all can do. Go. First, determine your cross and take it out. Love of the cross. See, a riddle already. No wonder so many are lost. Those who seek find, which is the second. Recollect the spirit, that is, seek constant connection of the soul with God. What does that mean? Ask, be silent. Third, modification. I'm not sure medieval practices and cross shirt wearing is relevant. Speak not to ridicule, but to understand. Hair shirts are not necessary. That was for that time. The fourth penance is close to it. This is the 20th century. Even more needed at this time of the overflowing cup of wrath. You can do penance by walking instead of riding. You can fast not only in the absence of food, but by doing things in reparation which you do not like. Like suffering. He was joking, but yes, even by offering an intention for the inevitable suffering. That I can do. Surely since suffering is your lot, it's his own hurt. What else? Have faith, hope, practice love of neighbor, for example, through charity. I do some of those. Now you see, while we still give you time, do these things through love of God. Embrace poverty. Now that I am an expert. It is not as you think, but it is easier for the poor to get there. How so? Love of God and chastity. You would not wish to place filth on God or his holy temple. Harder said than done. I'm only human. Not with his help and one time at a time. Things are getting outrageous with all this temptation. Parents no longer tell their children there shall be a retribution. Anything else? Obedience to his will. Your will must become his will through meekness and humility and prayer. Yes, pray unceasingly. I cannot fall on my knees every minute of the day. The holy women and his apostles were not on their knees every minute of the day. That is not what I meant. It is being in constant communication with headquarters. With what radio frequency? The word frequency is appropriate, but when you do a good deed, you do it intentionally for the love of him. When you walk, offer your walking to his will. But I'm doing it anyway. As you might suffer anyway. You may offer your actions and, yes, your sufferings intentionally. That way they have merit. It sounds stupid. It is not. His ways are not your ways. Thus, when you sleep, offer that. Offer anything you do. Washing, thinking, riding the bus, even looking at that idle television for love of him. Talk to him as you would a true friend. And what does that do? Ever so slowly you link to him. His thoughts start to be your thoughts. How can we tell it is not of the others? Easily. When they are about, there is never a spirit of peace, of joy, 
He has said, trust him, even in periods of aridity, as thy aunt said. He is closest to you if you feel uneasy. Know this, he will give you his peace. Uh -huh. Only believe. Through linking with him, grace or spiritual energy begins to flow into your life and every facet of it. You shall be delivered. He shall be your God and you shall be among his people. What's in it for me? A wondrous thing. A myriad of his promises become self-affecting. If you do these things, deliverance from oppression and things in which you place yourself, in a word, salvation. And what if I don't? I just want a party. Oh, mortal. These are testicle mortal. Most of you wish not the act, but the feeling which goes with it. Feelings dissipate. God is forever. Your time is short, as is all. The consequences suffered, nay or not. Again, which are? Darkness and coldness, increased trials and tribulations, without help in this valley of tears, hopelessness, despair, spiritual death, followed by physical death, and finally, eternal damnation. Whoa. Yes, whoa. Well, so have you heard of Nassau, Mary? Back to the prime question again. So which way shall you choose? 